All right, this is fourth grade, module five, lesson 40. And in, the, in this lesson, students are going to be using word problems. They're going to be solving word problems involving uh, multiplication, addition, subtraction, uh, all of this in the context of a, a line plot. So we're combining a lot of stuff in this lesson. So parents and teachers, consider taking a, maybe a day or two with this lesson because we really don't want to create frustration in our students. We really want to go, um, if necessary, we'd rather go slow in order to go fast. We don't need to rush and cause frustration in our students. So let's get started on this. So the first thing is we're asked to create a line plot, right? And so the idea is when you're making a line plot, you need to look at your data over here and you need to figure out what's your least, your smallest number. And in this case, it looks like our smallest number is 1 and 3 eighths. And if I'm not mistaken, that's the smallest. And it looks like our greatest number is 4 and 1 fourth. So when you're making a line plot, you need your line plot to go from um, something a little less than your lowest to something a little higher than your highest. So we're going to go, we're going to make our line plot go from 1 to 5. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is going to be the basis of our line plot because it's our least number is 1 and 3 eighths somewhere around here. And our greatest number is 4 and a quarter. So it's going to be somewhere up here. So now let's make the line plot. And it doesn't really matter how you go about doing it. Uh, I generally just start at the top and I work my way straight down. So first thing we're going to do is plot 2 and 2 eighths. So that means we're going to cut this interval right here into 8 pieces. And we're going to put an X right on top of that second piece. Because that's 2 and 2 eighths. So that's this one right up here. So I'm going to cross that off. And I am going to pause the video and we're going to finish this. Well, let's do one and three eighths. So one and three eighths says, okay, I'm going to chop this whole interval into eight pieces. And I'm going to put my X on top of the third one right there. So there's one and three eighths. So I finished two and I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to finish um, plotting the rest of these points. So through the magic of the internet and high technology, I was able to pause, I finished the, the line plot. A couple of things I noticed that is that um, some of the fractions are in quarters while others are in eighths. So the idea is we want students to recognize that a fraction like one quarter is equal to two eighths and vice versa. I noticed that, so that might have played a little bit of trickiness as you were um, plotting. Similarly, 3 fourths is equal to 6 eighths. So there was some little trickiness that happened when I was creating that uh, line plot. So just a little bit of a heads up. You also notice that it's not perfect. And we don't want our students to think that we have to be perfect uh, when they're creating their line plot. Just perfect enough. <laughs> so let's get going on this. So in this problem, we're being asked to find the difference in rainfall from the wettest and the driest months. And so the idea is we're going to take our line plot, which I copied over from the previous slide, and you'll notice that it's really easy in a line plot to see the wettest and the driest months. Here's the wettest. Here's the driest. And so the wettest is four and a quarter because you can see that it's been cut into four pieces, and it's at one space over. Whereas the uh, driest month, it's at one and one, two, three, th one and three eighths, because it's at one plus three little spaces over. So what we're going to do is we need to subtract four and a fourth minus one and three eighths. And so the idea is we we know that four and a fourth is the same thing as 4 and 2 eighths from lots of experience. But parents and teachers, if you need, you can remind them, oh, that if you multiply both the top and the bottom, so the numerator and the denominator by 2, 
that means you're going to get 2 eighths. And we've learned that 1 fourth and 2 eighths are the same uh, because both the numerator and the denominator were multiplied by the same number. So now we've got 4 and 2 eighths minus 1 and 3 eighths. A couple of different ways to do that. Uh, we learned, let's subtract the whole numbers first. So that becomes 3 and 2 eighths take away 3 eighths. And now, a couple of ways we could do this. I personally kind of like decomposing that second fraction. So we can turn that 3 eighths into 2 eighths plus 1 eighth. And we can subtract 3 and 2 eighths, take away 2 eighths. So that gives us 3. And then we still have to subtract that remaining 1 eighth right here. So 3 wholes take away 1 eighth gives us, and I'm going to squeeze this in here, 2 and 7 eighths. Now, parents and teachers, please, you may have to take a moment to talk to your students about how we know that this answer, 3 and 1 eighth, is equal to 2 and 7 eighths. But that's the idea, is first off, I want you all to notice that, did I use a standard algorithm? No, not exactly, because at this point, especially in fourth grade, we really want students to get the answer through a way that makes sense to them, efficiency will come eventually. But we do not want efficiency to come at the expense of building understanding. Let your students understand how to get the answer, even if it's not the most efficient way. And that's perfectly fine. So here, what is the combined rainfall amount for the summer months of June, July, and August? And I've already written our values here. So here's June, here's July, and here's August. And of course, we're being asked to add them. So one way we could do this is we can first, um, oh, you know what? Let's first think of all of these with like denominators. Well, actually, there's another way we could do this. We Well, a couple of ways. <laughs> That's the beauty of math. I love math because there's so many different ways we can solve this. So let's start by renaming two and a quarter to two and two eighths plus three and seven eighths plus three and two eighths. Now, really, we want fourth graders in their mind to be able to recognize that one-fourth and two-eighths are equivalent. That is really something we want students to be able to say. Um, we don't need them to show their work at that point uh, because one-fourth is such a basic benchmark fraction that we want students to just inherently know it like it's a, it's a basic fact. So two plus three plus three. So now we're going to add our whole numbers, and we get eight whole numbers. And now we have to add two-eighths plus seven-eighths plus 2 eighths. And when we do that, we get 8 whole numbers still, 8, but then adding 2 plus 7 plus 2, let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, is 11 eighths. And we know that 11 eighths is a fraction greater than 1. So that fraction greater than 1 is 8 eighths plus 3 eighths. So this is equal to 1 more. So what is our result? This ends up being we have nine whole numbers because we had eight here plus one more. So now we have nine whole numbers plus that extra three-eighths. So the answer is nine and three-eighths. And what is it? It's nine and three-eighths inches is the combined rainfall for those summer months. So in this one, it says, in which months did it rain twice as much as it rained in December? So we started off with, I, I peeked at the, the list from a couple of slides ago, and I saw that in December, it rained one and five-eighths inches. So now we know that we want to know this twice as much. So that means we're going to be two times one and five-eighths. So that's going to be two times one plus two times five-eighths. And 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2 times 5 eighths is 2 and 10 eighths. Parents and teachers, make sure your students understand how we went from here to here. And then this, we know, is 8 eighths plus 2 eighths. So that 8 eighths equals 1 whole. 
So we now have three holes because we had two up here plus one more. So that's three holes plus the two eighths left over inches. So now what we need to do, I'm not going to do that, but we need to go back and look at our list and look at which months had two, three and two eighths inches of rain. Keep in mind though, three and two eighths is also equal to three and a quarter inches. So you might need to look at months that have three and a quarter inches as well. And that wraps up fourth grade module five, lesson 40, word problems. Uh, allowing us to review a whole bunch of addition and a whole bunch of stuff about fractions all inside that context of line plots.